Hey friends, so as promised, I said I would come to you with some tips about getting custom clothes made in Hoi An. So let's make this quick, let's get it done. Okay, so tip number one, come with an idea in mind of you, what you wanna have made. So what I would suggest is prior to heading to Hoi An, Download some pictures onto your phone of what you want to have made and show the tailor what you want. If you don't have a phone or you don't want to carry around a phone, have like a magazine cut, like cut out stuff out of a magazine of what you want to have made and that will give the tailor an idea of exactly what you want made. Another cool thing is some tailors will actually let you email them or even text them a photo of the garment you want, an idea, you know? So yeah, that is my first tip. Tip number two, shop around, shop around, shop around, because no two tailors are the same, okay? You wanna make sure that you're gonna get the best garment made, you wanna make sure you're getting the best price, and obviously, good customer service. So always shop around, don't just start at one tailor and be like, okay, well, I'm gonna pick this person. I would suggest checking out at least three, four other places and see how you feel about them. Number three, download an app called Grab Taxi. Grab Taxi is like Asia's version of Uber, but it's so cheap, so, 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 so cheap. You can get anywhere just for, oh my gosh, like less than $10, less than $5. I've taken trips that have cost me literally 98 cents. 98 cents. Yeah. So download Grab Taxi. It's extremely convenient and extremely cheap. Number four, if your homestay hotel or hostel offers you, um, recommends a tailor to you, um, I would suggest maybe going and checking it out, but always keep in mind that they will say, this is my sister's tailor. If you go there, you can get a good price. Always keep in mind that the reason why they're doing that is because they can make a commission off your sale. So if, for example, you buy a dress, from the tailor that they recommend to you, they're gonna get money from your sale, which means that you might be getting charged a bit more than what you had expected, okay? So keep that in mind. Number five, you may be on the street and someone may stop you and again, offer you a discount card, saying, go to this tailor, you can get a discount, just give them my name and you'll get a discount. Again, 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 they're gonna get a commission, your garment is gonna be higher in price, rather than you getting it for a lower price if you had gone on your own, okay? Be careful with those type of people because there are a lot, there are many people that their jobs are literally to target tourists to get a cut from the garment that they have made, okay? Number six, plan to stay longer than you had anticipated. The reason I say that is because sometimes you may get your garment and it may not fit or it's not the way you want it to be. So you wanna give it a little bit more time so that your tailor has time to fix anything that needs to be fixed, okay? So say for example, you're staying for four days, maybe plan to stay for six. Number seven, speak up or forever hold your peace. Yeah. I think that's what I'm trying to say. The reason I say that is because if you don't speak up, nothing's going to be fixed and you'll have that garment forever. If you don't like the way it fits you, tell them, I don't like the way this fits me and I'd like you to change it, please. Say it in a nice way, okay? Because you don't want to go home and you're like, shit, I really don't like this dress. You need to speak up then and then, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Those are my tips. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. And remember, stay restless. Peace. Hey friends, if you wanna keep up with my journey, follow my blog, www.restlessfeet.co. And don't forget to subscribe.